Hello, and welcome back to Genshin Impact. Today, we're going to be continuing the Parade of Providence Galaboos event things. Uh, let's do uh, my medic replication first. Pass from Amurda seems to be busy with something. So, let's go talk to Paz. Ah, hello there, Traveler. It would seem that you're here to take part in the Wisdom Gala. If it would interest you, would you like to try out the game that we at Amurda have set up? And what sort of game would that be? Our Darshan has set up a little game called Mimetic Replication. In this game, I will introduce you to the behavior patterns of certain animals. Of course, these patterns have been simplified and generalized to make them easier to understand. What you'll need to do is use the models we have prepared to imitate the actions of the corresponding animals. Uh, that does sound pretty simple. Precisely. Animals have regular behavioral patterns, and it is a statement that is both simple to understand and accept. But behind something so simple lie mysteries that are most deep indeed. However, let us put academic observation aside for the moment and simply enjoy the habitual behaviors of animals in a relaxed manner. With my tone too serious, uh, that's not good. Traveler, are you here to give Mime Tick Replication a try? I'll give this one a go. Why not? Alright, in that case, please step over here. I guess we'll do Mime Tick Replication Weasel first. I've seen something about Rhythm, so... Use Jump at the right moment and control the Weasel model to obtain coins at the appropriate rhythm, rhythm point. Use Leap to reach coins at a higher location. Use Jump at the right moment to control the Weasel to get, obtain the coins. Okay. So E for higher, space for low. Easy so far. sure it's going to get harder with the others. Treasure in abundance. Replication score is 300. Well, I hope I'll never meet a weasel as smart and swift as this one. Okay. Got 100%. All 30. Serious, that's not good. Traveler, are you here? I'll give it a go. In that case, step over here. Okay, mime tech replication, shroom bore. Begin. Use forward charge at the right moment to cause the shroom bore model to break the obstacle at the appropriate rhythm point. Okay. So right before he hits the door press phase. So far so good. Okay, I missed one. 
I missed two, holy crap. Okay, apparently I could hit it much earlier than I thought I could. Okay, that one I just completely messed up on. Okay, that one I thought I hit it on time, but I guess not. Oh well, I got the three stars, that's all I care about. This is definitely more challenging than the other one. Oh wow, I hit that way too early. I heard the noise and just hit it. Oh well, still got the three stars. I doubt anyone will be able to catch this shroom boar. Okay, only 89% on that one. Don't tell me serious. Traveler, are you here? I'll give it a go. In that case, over here. Okay, mind tick replication fish. Begin replication. Use leap from water at the right moment and control the fish model so that the duration of its jump matches that of the other two fish models. So I gotta hold space this time. That's a problem. Okay. So I gotta time it to a, Yeah, you hit that one way too late. And that one too. Okay, this one's hard. too soon for that one. Oh, oh, I got the three stars. That's what matters, I guess. Good four. That's a sky's the limit. An angler who manages to catch this fish is sure to brag about it for a long time. Do you have any other dialogue? Don't do serious, hey traveler. Okay, I've got some other things to do. That's fine, my booth will be open throughout the gala. See, so come over and try the game out anytime. Okay. That's all of them from this one, right? Yep. Okay, we'll do concocted reactions now. Bahar from Spot Mod seems to be busy with something. Which is right next door, okay. How did this fall to me? Couldn't we have assigned this task to a more experienced senior student? Hmm? Are you running some event here as well? Eh? Oh, Traveler. Um, yes. Yes, we are indeed running an event. Well, I say it's an event, but really, it's a domain that awaits exploration. Does this domain have anything to do with the gala? Oh, let's not even get into that. I only came to be in charge of this affair because of the gala. Sorry, I've got to introduce myself. I'm Bahador, 
from Spotamon, and our research lies in the field of alchemy, the elements, and topics like that. So I was assigned to this task, but as much as I've thought about it, I couldn't think of a game that our Darshan could run. Putting up a crafting bench to do public alchemic experiments would be too boring. And there was no way we could run some demonstration of elemental reactions. If something went wrong, the whole site might go up in smoke. And what would we do then? In the end, I had to ask the Veterans Guild for help, and it was with their aid that I found this domain. Several of my fellow students I and I went in to investigate, and to be honest, it is another mess in there. As such, we developed a few potions specialized for use inside this domain. And well, that's our Darshan specialty, demonstrated now. Eh? Ha ha ha. So if you're interested, Traveler, take these potions with you and go investigate the domain. I'll mark this location on your map. Has anyone come to, uh, play this game? C quite a few of interest did come to give this a go. They were quite excited too, but I must say that very few of our fellow students did. <sighs> Whatever the case may be, you can go in as long as you're interested. The adventurers who tried this earlier rated it as being very challenging. Ah uh, yes, for when you do go, I will have some potions here for you. Stay safe when exploring that domain, alright? You need to defeat opponents within a time limit during concocted reactions. Use resilience concoctions to resist a maximum of two negative effects. Use enhancing concoctions to obtain a maximum of two different buffs. Okay. How did this fall to me? Couldn't we... Uh, okay, so he has nothing to say. So where's this domain at? On hard difficulty. It says or above, so I could just do hard difficulty, okay. Could teleport straight to it, that's nice. Okay, ruin guards and hilly turtles. Concocting Reactions Part 1 This domain is hogged by hilly turtles. According to the other adventure reports, there are even huge automations. Automations? The appropriate application of concoctions will be necessary to defeat them. Okay. Uh... Resilience Concoctions. Resist at most two negative effects. So, what don't we want happening? Okay, I don't want that happening. Let's see, have been deployed, hilly turtle over there. Okay, I don't want that happening either. I can handle the extra HP. And two positive effects. Okay, less than two character opponents. Eh, that's less than two, that probably won't happen. Hits an opponent, a cyclone will be generation. Okay, that one looks good. An extra true damage instance, eh, with a normal shockwave. Okay, I guess we'll go with the Pulverizing Vortex and Inexorable Brach. And, of course, the Archon team. Stabilize! There is no escape! Oops. I did not even mean to switch characters. Illusion shadow. Let's play. Well, I just need to beat 16 characters in this time limit, so I should be able to handle that without an issue. This is order. Time for takeoff. Make yourself a move. Solidify. Order guide you. Here we go. Now you shall perish. Yeah. 
This is order. Illusion shattered. This may turn a little. Grow, grow, grow. Share my knowledge. This may turn a little. Torn to oblivion. <laughs> Stabilize. There is no escape. <laughs> Let's yeah. play. Order guide you. Make yourselves at home. I see everything. Solidify. Here we go. Grow, grow, grow. This is order. You shall perish. Okay, first one done. Two minutes, four seconds, huh? Concocted reaction part two. Large quantities of fungi are occupying this domain. One must use concoctions wisely to defeat them swiftly. Okay, so I'm pretty sure these could all be grabbed with wind, so this one should be easy as hell. HP increased by 100, I don't care about that. All normal finical and it's increased by 50. Mm. Large cryo shrine. Yeah, I don't want that. Element at intervals, which will increase their offensive capabilities. This cryo buff can be removed through elemental reactions. I guess that one could stay. Okay, I guess I don't want the resistance up either. Let's see. When a character deals pyro damage, I don't have pyro damage. Energy recharge increased. Hmm. Character's jumping ability, or when a character takes damage. I guess I'll pick these two, though. I'm not sure if I could take damage with Thongly Shield. Illusion shattered. Make yourselves a move. Think you can get away? Oh, I need to kill 25 of them, huh? Seventeen. That's a lot better than the last one. Okay, and there's just one left. Yeah, concocted reaction part three. Eremites and treasure hoarders are wandering in this domain. Perhaps they believe that treasures are worth risking their lives are hidden within. Defeat them by using concoctions accordingly. I'm not sure if I could pick these up with wind. 
on the field will increase the opponent's physical and elemental resistance by 15%. And she, uh, air might scorching lore master and lower ring dancer can unleash your spirits. Yeah, I don't care about that one. Pulsing reinforcements. Mm. Our active character will be periodically. Um. I would smoldering flames hurt me with this shield. I guess I'll go with these two. I'm not sure if that would hurt me with this shield. Let's see, aggravate, quicken, hyper bloom, but mm, getting back elemental energy don't matter with my team. Shield strength has increased. Chocolate. Okay, I've definitely taking that one. I don't have healing. When the character's HP is higher than 70%, their elemental mastery is increased. I'll definitely take that one. Because I don't plan on getting hurt. Solidify! Make yourselves at home! Think you can get away? Okay, I'm afflicted by the fire, but it isn't hurting me, so that's good. Okay, not having the shield does hurt. Dance with me. Time for takeoff. I see everything. The show has only just begun. You're not done yet. Illusion shattered. Everyone hold hands. Think you can get away? Oh, I did not mean to do that, but okay. Just two more. Dance with shine down. Where the eternal oasis. Share my knowledge. Be a good audience. Now we shall share the Gurabad. Yeah, they increase in elemental damage. Does seem to do a lot. A lot more damage since I mainly use elemental attack. Sub minute, that was nice. I'm pretty sure that was all of them. Did I go report back to the guy that gave me the quest or? Cause let's see, I'm pretty sure that was all of them. Yeah. I don't remember where that guy that gave me the quest is. I think he was over here, right? Uh, yeah. How did this fall to me? Couldn't we have assigned this task to a more experienced senior student? Okay. Bahar's up there. Um, uh, maybe it this one. NPC could be a pain sometimes. Good day to you, traveler. Given how you appear, you must be here to take part in the Wisdom Gala, yes? If you're interested, would you like to try out the event that we, the Haravatat, are organizing? If I call Haravatat Studies Languages, albeit that's a loose summary. That is what we research here at Haravatat. Well, what do you think? Sounds like a good fit for the gala's festive and relaxed atmosphere, does it not? Many of my fellow Darsha members do quite think so. Everyone is having fun to their heart's content, so surely we shall not spoil the mood by going around asking people riddles. Yes, in any case, we shall be hard pressed to drum up much interest if we make people guess riddles for our activity. After much, Friendly discussion, we have decided on a little game known as Intrus Steps. It does not require any tools or items, just a settled mind and clear thoughts. 
When this game starts, I will tell you a story. Now, it may seem to you that the tale is going nowhere. Indeed, some parts of it might even defy common sense. So you can question me, to which I will answer using three types of answers. Yes, no, or it doesn't matter. What you need to do is use your questions to find the truth to this story. Don't be nervous though. The correct answer isn't meant to be all that complicated. What do you say? If you're interested, we can start now. Listen to the story and use questions to understand various details regarding said story. Note that you will only receive yes, no, and it has nothing to do with the story style answers. If the question you have asked has some critical elements to it, you may gain new hints as to what to ask. Once you have enough information, you will need to start pursuing the truth. Correctly answer all the questions related to the truth to complete this particular story. Okay, this one sounds like it's going to be a long one. Well then, would you like to give in truth steps ago? Yes. Good, good. In that case, lend me your ears. Okay, there's just three parts, so we'll do part one. Truth steps part one. A group of forest rangers was patrolling the Ovidia Forest. Asti and Baden were responsible for surveying the surrounding environment. While advancing, they discovered monsters ahead and ended up getting caught in a downpour, with the rain making the ground so muddy that they were temporarily stranded. Asti sent Baden out to the other team of forest rangers with the intention of reminding them to stay vigilant. Then Asti hid in a tree until the monsters left. Later, following Baden, the other team of forest rangers successfully rendezvoused with Asti. Afterward, they quickly left the floor forest. However, of their number, only Baden was soaking wet. Why was that? Hmm. Find out the truth behind this story through careful analysis and questioning. Just begin analysis. N analyzing. Okay, I guess we'll ask about the rain. Was the downpour heavy? Yes. Could people travel across this mire easily? No, the mire could not be traversed by human strengths. Okay. That's the forest rangers. What would you like to ask about the forest rangers? Was any waterproof gear brought along? Yes, enough to ensure that the forest rangers clothes would not get wet. So why was he wet? Were Asti and Baden far away from the other team of forest rangers? Yes, the distance was so great that even shouts could not be heard. Were there any vision holders among those forest rangers? No. Was everyone on that patrol a forest ranger? No. Okay, so Baden wasn't a forest ranger. We could assume that already. What would you like to ask about Batum? Did Batum have a different set of objectives compared to the forest rangers? No. Was Batum a forest ranger? Batum was not a forest ranger, but the forest ranger's companion. Okay. Was Batum hired assistance? The question I fear has nothing to do with the story. Okay. Was Baden hostile towards the Forest Rangers? I doubt it if he was a companion. This question of fear has nothing to do with the story. Yeah, I kind of figured that. Baden's identity. What would you like to ask about Baden's identity? Was Baden a human? No. And that's probably critical. Was Baden an elemental creature? No. Was Baden an animal? Yes. Hmm, some type of bird? Batum's abilities. What would you like to ask about Batum's abilities? Did Batum carry any instruments in particular? No. Can Batum fly? Yes. Okay, so I'm still on some type of bird. He flew while everybody else took cover in the trees. Was Batum a vision holder? No. Didn't I already ask about visions? Whatever, how Batum flies. How would you like to ask about how Batum flies? Could Batum use a wind glider properly? No. Did Batum need equipment or outside aid to achieve flight? No. 
to bait him fly alone. Yes. With flight, one of Batum's innate abilities. Yes. Okay, and I've asked everything. So I guess we'll find the truth. How did Batum leave the mire and pass the message on? I guess by being a good flyer. Batum was a... Dusk bird, I guess, since... Yeah. Why was Batum wet all over? Mm, I want to say he didn't bring waterproof gear, but they said that they brought enough for everybody. But I guess I'll say Batum did not bring any waterproof gear. Hold on, you got all the answers correct. Congratulations, I definitely think you got the hang of this. Ah, uh, he didn't bring waterproof. They brought enough waterproof gear for all of the forest rangers. He was a forest ranger companion and not included. So, about the four truths behind this tale. The four truths is this. Batum was a messenger dusk bird used by the forest ranger, Asti. After sighting the wild beast, Asti chose to send Batum out to inform the other forest rangers due to the storm impeding travel. Batum flew through that storm and thus got all wet. Okay. So, about the next story. Part 2. And two steps, part 2. Bahira is a student from Ravata. Some time ago, he went out for his research, but received an unexpected letter from his mentor, who, in the letter, asked him to bring back something Bahira mistakenly took with him on the trip. In response, Bahira mailed the item back to Haravata. However, when Bahira later returned to Haravata, he still got a scolding from his mentor. Why is that? I mean, he took something important. I mean, let's begin analyzing the object. What would you like to know about the object? Was this item broken when it was returned? No. Could this item be mailed through a letter? Yes. Was the item related to the mentor? Obviously. Yes, it was something that the mentor needed urgently. Ah, uh, because he had to wait for her. That's why he was mad. Did the mentor scold Bahira due to a matter of lateness? No. Huh. Okay. Well, there goes that idea. The usage of the object. What would you like to know about the usage of the object? Was the item dangerous? No. Could this item have a negative impact on the academia? No. Did the item have something to do with the mentor's daily work? Yes, it was something that the mentor would use almost every day. Hmm. Objects influence on the mentor's work. Whoop, do you like to ask about the objects influence on the mentor's work? Without the item in the letter, was the mentor unable to start work? Yes. Would the mentor lose his job without the item in the letter? No. Would the absence of the item impose a tremendous loss on Haravatat? No. Hmm. <laughs> The letter's current condition. What would you like to ask about the letter's current condition? Could the mentor assess the location where the letter was placed? No. Did anyone else touch the letter? Yes. Was the letter delivered to Ravata? Yes. Did the mentor get the letter? No. Was the location of the item related to to with the location of the item related to the item itself. Yes. So somebody else took the letter and that's why he got scolded because he never he saw he never sent it back. People who touched the letter. What would you like to ask about the people who touched the letter? Did more than one person touch the letter? No. Was the person who touched the letter hostile to the mentor? No. Did the one who touched the letter destroy it? No. Was the person who touched the letter one of the Academia staff members? Yes. Did the person who touched the letter do something that inhibited the mentor from receiving it? Yes. They were just performing their usual duties, though. Okay. Well, 
Well, why was his mentor angry? And was working with such his plan was about to be exposed. The contents of the letter had been ruined because he could not obtain the letter. You said he didn't get it, so he could not obtain the letter. Who was it who last came into contact with the letter? Mm, I guess a Darshan staff member who was in charge of passing on the letter. Where was the letter? Um, I guess the mentor's office? What was within the letter then? The keys to the office, really? Huh, <laughs> that's funny. Oh, done, you got all the answers correct. Congratulations, I definitely think you got the hang of this. So the dude accidentally took the key with him. He mailed it back. But the guy that was in charge of the letter locked it in his office. That's funny. So about the four truths behind the tale. Here are the full truth. Bahira took the keys to the office, and when his mentor sent him a letter to ask for them, he sent them in a letter back to the academia. However, when his letter reached his darshan, the staff member simply dropped it into Bahira Mentor's office through its letter slot. As such, both the office keys and the letter wound up stuck inside the locked office. That is funny. Okay, uh, about the next story. In True Steps Part 3. Okay. <clears throat> Through everyone's joint effort, the Wisdom Gala went smoothly and concluded successfully. Everyone who set up booths and offered fun events during the Gala received the leave permit for a three-day vacation. No strings attached. However, after everyone got their leave permit, there was one more leave permit left in the box. Why is that? Mm, begin analyzing. How the leave permits were to be used. What would you like to ask about how the leave permits were to be used? Could leave permits be given to someone else? No. Did anyone use the leave permit in advance? No. Did anyone duplicate or exchange the leave permit? No. Obtaining the leave permits. What would you like to ask about obtaining the leave permits? Did everyone take a leave permit? Yes. Did some choose a different reward? No. Was anyone not allowed to claim their leave permit? No. Did some later have their leave privileges cancelled? The question I fear has nothing to do with the story. Okay, keeping the leave permits. What would you like to ask about keeping the leave permits? Was everyone allowed to have only one leave permit? Yes. Was everyone allowed to take only the leave permit? No. Okay, were the booth owners during the gala the only ones allowed to claim the leave permits? Question up here has nothing to do with the story. The whereabouts of the leave permits. What would you like to ask about the whereabouts of the leave permits? Did all leave permit claimants leave with only their leave permits? No. Were all leave permits taken out of the box? No. He said there was one left. The box that held leave permits. What would you like to ask about the box that held the leave permits? Was the leave permit in the box still valid? Yes. Were any new leave permits placed in the box? No. Did the leave permit in the box belong to someone nevertheless? Yes. Hmm, so I assume the guy took, didn't know he could get both rewards, and wound up just taking the other reward and left his leave permit. And the current status of leave permit is, all leave permits are with those who should have them, some of the leave permits were damaged, some of the leave permit, I guess all the leave permits are with those who should have them, right? Did everyone take a leave permit? Some chose a different prize, some later had their leave permit. Everyone took one, a leave permit, as he said. I was one leave permit slip left in the box. 
The person who took that slip took the box too. This was someone else's leave for mint. The leave for mint was rendered in Lala. That's the person who took that slip took the box too. Well done, you got all the answers correct. Congratulations, I definitely think you've got the hang of this. So about the full truth behind the tale. The truth of the matter is that the leave permits were indeed put into everyone's hands. But that final person to take the leave permit took the box that contained them as well. Well, I guess I've got other things to do at the moment. Well, that, that was actually pretty good. Yeah, I got other things. If that's alright, I'll be here and you can come back whenever you'd like to have a go. And I'm pretty sure that's everything now, right? Answers were in here the whole time, or did the answers just pop up because I completed it? And I guess. Oh, I got Faru's out. Is she new or not? Obtain new character. I don't remember if I got her already or not. I guess I'll find out real quick. Nope, she's new. Cool. Alright, and that's the complete end of the par Parade of Providence. Next, we'll be doing the Recollector's Pass, probably. Well, I guess not, because I can't unlock it right now. I have to complete another quest first, all the way over here. So I guess next, we'll be doing the Splendorous Sky that day. Quest line. So we can unlock that. But, if you've watched this, thanks for watching, and I hope you all have wonderful lives. Peace.